Good afternoon everybody, Russell here from LJ Hooker Flinders Park coming to you from 15 Fathom Avenue in Seaford Meadows. I uh, don't come down this way much but when I do it always surprises me how far this area has come and how beautiful it actually is. So I'm going to walk you through this house in a video tour starting from the backyard due to the line up at the front which we want to avoid getting them in the picture. Um, but just to give you an idea of where we are beautiful hills over there so we'll start out here at the back as I mentioned so the property is on a corner block we do have the side here um, split system air conditioning system here the La Fresca area here too lawn area and uh, high fences which is always a positive Now down here we do have a little bit more space as well with the clothesline, an instant gas hot water and another split system unit with a gate that does lead to the front. So the funny thing about this is that there's a, a door to the laundry here and the door to the kitchen here is a very unusual little design but I guess you can make it work, you don't have to walk the laundry out through the kitchen. So I guess we'll start in here, uh, the laundry with a door. Uh, you've got room here for a top loader or a front loader, which isn't a choice everyone gets these days. And you've got some storage here. So the kitchen and family room here is quite open. Uh, you've got the, uh, the really large windows here, which is great, plus the split system reverse cycle. Got the stone bench tops, dishwasher, gas stove top and electric oven. So they must admit the last sentence did look after this place pretty well. It's not overly large, but it is uh, spacious and comfy, so. Now the fridge here should fit a double, uh, not guaranteeing, but dear. I'm about six feet and I just fit into it. So you should have enough space there for a reasonable sized fridge. Now this side of the house has uh, the two bedrooms, the one at the end here, whoever enjoys the most quiet. Built-in robes here, all hanging space. Toilet. Bathroom, so quite a large shower there. Tub, vanity, and mirror. So here we have another bedroom, this one's a little bit larger. Once again, we've got the built-in robe there. All hanging space. Now just through here, we do have a uh, extra lounge room or study or whatever you really want to use it for. Two living spaces I feel is almost a necessity for a four bedroom at the moment. And here we have another bedroom. Once again, we've got uh, built-in robes there and the garage. Now this garage is unusually large. However, I will mention that uh, it's not overly tall. So if you do have a car with roof racks or a car that is quite high, despite it being a panel lift door, um, there may be some height restrictions on that one. So as we come down here, we have the entrance and the master. Now, the master isn't overly large. I think it's been designed to put your, your bed here and a um, bedside table either side. A queen is probably the biggest I'd go in here. But you do have these two windows with lots of light. You have your own split system. Plus you've got your own walk-in robe here. And you've got an ensuite with uh, double basins, which 
all in rather good nick. And the shower. So, for those that couldn't make it today, I hope that will suffice. Feel free to let us know if you have any questions. Um, after viewing this property, this will be considered a viewing and you will be able to apply. Thanks very much for watching.